മമ്മൂക്കയുടെ പടങ്ങൾ കുറെ കണ്ടിട്ടും ആസ്വദിച്ചിട്ടും ഉള്ളവരുടെ വയറിലാണ് ഞാനും നീയുമൊക്കെ പിറന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ പടം പ്രതീക്ഷകൾക്ക് താഴെയാവുമ്പോൾ അത് താങ്ങാനാവുന്നില്ല ഹലോ ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ടു സൗമ്യ സ്റ്റേക്ക് ദിസ് വീക്ക് ഐ എം ടേക്കിംഗ് ദ കോൺവെർസേഷൻ ഫോർവേഡ് ഓൺ എം പത്മകുമാർസ് മാമാങ്കം സ്റ്റാറിംഗ് മമ്മൂട്ടി ഇൻ ദ ലീഡ് റോൾ ആൻഡ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഐ ആസ്ക് ഇസ് വൈ ഇസ് മാമാങ്കം സച്ച് എ ലെറ്റ് ഡൗൺ ഡിസ്പൈറ്റ് ഹാവിംഗ് ആൻ അടിപൊളി പ്രമൈസ് Mamangam is set in medieval times and is about a suicide squad of warriors called the Chavers. Their aim is to kill the Zamorin who has brought dishonor to their land Valluvanad. And so once in 12 years when the Mamangam festival happens they battle him and end up dying while fighting. But Chandrod Valya Panikkar the character Mamuti plays chooses life over death and walks away from the battle. He even adopts the disguise of an effeminate teacher of the arts. Now this is an interesting premise because we are only used to seeing the hyper masculine hero who would rather die in battle than give up. Mamangam could have offered us a fresh perspective on a historical milieu, but the film does not devote enough attention to its characters or the time period. Why does Valya Panikkar reach this decision? Was there something in his childhood or growing up years that led him to it? what goes on in the 24 years that he spends away from his family we don't know unlike the 1989 period film oru vadakan veeragada where we are witness to chandu's dilemmas we don't get to see what's going on in velya panikkar's mind at all instead of underlining the pointlessness of violence most of the film glorifies it in fact mamuti's role feels like an extended cameo with Unni Mukundan and Achudan getting the lion's share of the screen time and so his philosophy of live and let live ends up sounding quite tame especially because it's spelt out in clunky dialogues the film is also half-hearted in representing the social realities of its time though it speaks of the bravado of a group of upper caste men it only has a token lower caste man who's shown to be full of gratitude and is following them everywhere There's a hint about the practice of not allowing women to cover their chests in front of upper caste men but the film does not explore this either choosing instead to show everyone being faithful to the Panikkar family while Mala Parvati Kaniha and Anu Sitara are stuck spouting lines about babies and wombs Prachi Telan briefly wields a sword but is then relegated to giving reaction shots as the men speak and as in Kayam Kulam Kochunni This film too manages to sneak in an item number. It is true that Mamangam did not have the budget of Bahubali, but the VFX work is so amateurish that it is reduced to the old style Mahabharata level of mega serial. You know, the ones where the arrows go tishkyaw. The film neither exploits Mamuti's potential nor the potential of its premise. Just because crores have been spent on making a film should be celebrated even if the output is way below expectations critiquing a film is a legitimate way of pointing out what worked and what didn't it isn't an attempt to degrade the film as producers are fond of terming it and the industry as well as fans should understand this chaavan orungiko ennano mammootty fans parayunnathu kochi palaya kochi alla ennu arayam pakshe bilal palaya bilalayitte thanne adutha aalchiyum varu